Lordy, we're going to talk about it again. Okay, but I actually want to use this as an experiment today. See, if you choose to run some major manufacturer, most popular oil in the country, and you get the typical results. I see this more on 261s. I don't know why. This is a non amtronic version. Um, what I can tell you is, is that if you look at the front of this muffler cover, you know, it's not like this has been running rich by any stretch. I mean, there's good, you know, you can tell this thing's seen a lot of heat, so it should be burning, which means the saw has been worked hard and this oil should be burning off, but it's not. <laughs> Here, let me pause this and uh, I'll get you a good look at the piston. All right, let's get a little light on this. If I can get that light just right. And you can see that coking that's on the piston. Let's uh, advance this just a little bit more. Get a better look at what's there. It's tough, you know, you can't have too much light. Um, It's, boy, this is hard, but you, you get the gist of it, that there's a, a fair amount of, uh, of coking on the piston. You know, the carbon in the intake is pretty significant if you look at it. Um, and this guy's a strong steel ultra user, won't change. Let's uh, dump out the gas, ta gas tank and just verify that there's pond water in there. All right. So, oh, look at that nasty pond water. Uh, you know, this saw runs fine. There's no issues with it. No complaints about it running. Just had a busted starter. And, um, you know, there's good color in this oil. So it's mixed appropriately. Um, like I said, this is just in for, whoops, uh, starter, somebody drop start this and, uh, broke the, um, the little S shaped clip that holds the two starter paws to the, uh, rope rotor. So I've got this out so we can do a shock treatment as opposed to, you know, adding sea foam, you know, an ounce or two per gallon just as maintenance. And let's see if a shock treatment We'll clean that piston up. Uh, I'm going to put this back together with some good gas in it and um, good oil. And uh, we'll talk about the process of doing a shock treatment. Okay, so here's what I've done. I've run the saw for a couple of minutes. I got it up to full operating temperature. I've taken the air filter off. And this is a key in my experience to getting the seafoam to do what it does best is that it needs to be at full operating temperature. I'm gonna fire it up. Um, I'm gonna raise the idle just a little bit so I can keep it running while I got both hands full. And uh, I'm gonna dribble seafoam in and see if I can't just, how much seafoam that I can work into the throat of the carburetor while it's running without completely bogging it down so I get enough product in there. All right, here we go. This is such a little motor i was having a hard time and obviously my little makeshift cap was leaking and so when i finished 
when it finally bogged out, I um, just went ahead and basically put about a cap full inside. Got a small ask, and I don't normally ask for this, but how about a subscribe? How about a like? How about share this video and give me a little YouTube love? If you watch me on a regular basis and you're not subscribed, please do. And uh, if you're one of the 80 something percent of the people that watch my videos that don't subscribe, throw me a like. I'd appreciate it a bunch. Thank you. Okay, it's been about five minutes. So let's get this thing cranked up. That's always fun. Let's shut this thing off, take it inside, and uh, we'll pull the muffler and see if we got some of that coking off of it. This is gonna be a little less flashy than I thought it was going to be. Um, like I said, I like seafoam. So we did the shock treatment. I came in here, took a peek before started doing everything. I feel like we just knocked a lot of the carbon off the top of the piston, the combustion chamber, and didn't get the desired effect that I wanted to on the front of the piston. So I thought, okay, instead of dragging you along for some more video, I just, there was about a, maybe a third of a tank of fuel in here, and I put, I don't know, an ounce or two of seafoam in it, and just figured, okay, let me just crank it up, leave it outside, let it idle for a little while. I went out there, goosed it a few times, got a few more puffs of smoke out. I thought, okay, we're getting somewhere. And uh, without any further ado, let me show you what we got. Um, Saw's been sitting here, it's cooled down. Uh, big old puddle of oil from where it's been sitting. So I'm not uh, jerking you around here. Let's see if we can get back in there and see. Hold on. There we go. Let me bring that down a notch. And we'll zoom in. It's still there. I think we got rid of a little bit of it. You know, what we've got in the... Looks like we might have cleaned up a little bit of carbon in the intake port and maybe that's a little tiny bit better not really so i think it's going to take a little bit longer here stick with me because i, I want to have a a short discussion about this and still keep it relatively brief uh, i've established over and over and over by kicking this dead horse in a bottle so I know everybody that's said, oh, it runs great. This saw runs fine. You heard it. Idles, revs, runs, no issue. What it does have is build up on the piston, which is not good. Um, so if you took, pull your muffler and you see this kind of thing, then I can I suggest one thing. First and foremost, fine, because this is an F. B rated oil, it's right here on the bottle. You'll be able to see it's down here. Just look on the bottle at the house. It's in the fine print on the back and that's their rating. So you got great lubrication and modest amount of 
uh, detergents to keep your carbon build up to a minimum. Uh, every Echo brand oil, two-stroke oil, is FD rated, so that's top tier, best detergent package. And you know, it does get better as you go up, but they're all great oils, they're gonna burn clean. You're gonna have a nice shiny piston. Um, XP Plus is another FD oil. Still just, they, why they won't improve their oil, I don't know. They do so much other than brag about being, you know, leader in cutting technology and innovating and blah, blah, blah. So how about just run a better oil as opposed to trying to do snake oil treatment? And I feel like if we continue on this path to run a little bit of seafoam in the mixed gas, we, I think we can really get most of that gone but it's gonna take a little bit of time. This isn't gonna be some quick fix, because it is, yes, it's very dramatic to see a shock treatment of seafoam just spewing smoke. You know you're burning some carbon off, and I, I think we did. Uh, be interested to see the crown of the piston. Um, but that's my two cents on, will seafoam save me from FB-rated Steel Ultra? I don't think so.